an ode to tea. The sailors, their shanties of survival, their maps drawn in sticks and sand, bring their stories to boil like green leaves stirred by Ming sailors along our coast, while the Arabs and the Ajuran are giving it Isma and Ukeadi. Slowly, the air fills with the scent of a place the sailors call transcendence. One by one we are pulled by the nose toward a ritual unfurling, like once in the life of a leaf that knows its purpose is to soak, depart, drift away. I imagine some time later, darker leaves and all the implications, departures under the canopy, Nightfall and nightshade, driftwood, vagabonded, a people exiled, tribes of our desert, clans of cow herds and greener pastures, the Ajuran, the Zeila'i, the Sultanates and Bokortoya, and of course the Qurbachok. I imagine all the precious things the dark leaves behind, how pain imbued with voice cries. I have nothing to offer you but this cup of Shah Adais, which tastes the same no matter where in our strange geography you sit to sip a moment's piece of embittered water. Sweetened by a spoon of Anani Do, the silt of sugar banking like the memory of water in the Doh. Tea as bosom for those who would not take their mother's milk. Tea as dawn. For those who cannot start the day without. Tea as love. Or at least the measure of it. For I could know your heart by how you brew. So take this drink and know mine too. <laughs>